Tibor Baranski's face now covers this wall on Spring and Elizabeth Streets in Nolita. Born in Hungary at just 22 years old, Baranski was studying to become a Catholic priest. Historians say he saved more than 3,000 Jews from certain death during the Holocaust. He did this by impersonating a member of the Pope's team in Hungary, going to literal um, the death lines where Jews were going to be executed, pulling them off the line, telling the soldiers there that he had the permission of the Pope to do so, driving them out of the country, putting them up in safe houses, creating fake passports for them. Because of this, because of this heroism, he was put on a death march, survived that, and then spent five to seven years in a Russian prison until finally being freed after Stalin's death. Craig Dershowitz is the CEO of Artists for Israel. His group is behind the Righteous Among Nations Global Mural Project. Our goal with this project is to educate people about the terror of unchecked anti-Semitism, which is very important as that anti-Semitism seems to keep growing, and to pay honor to those heroes who stood up in the face of hatred and fascism and did above and beyond bravery and courage to rescue those in need. He wants to honor Baranski's heroism and educate others about his life and bravery, especially in New York City, where anti-Semitism is increasing. Fernando Ski Romero is the artist who created this mural. I use the style of art in order to have the art relatable. So I used like a, a Roy Lichtenstein type of feel where it's like something composed of dots and that would, you know, bring the viewer in and then create more dialogue. So the idea behind this mural is also to engage the community. They want people to walk by, look at the mural, but they also want them to learn about history. So they have a QR code. You can put your phone right up in front of it. It takes you to the story of who this hero was. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.